ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನು ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈಕೇಶ್ವಸ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೇಶ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚಿನ ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುನಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ಬಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ್ ಕಿಮಿ ಗುಭೂದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಂ ಕರೋಷ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬದಾಥೌ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತು ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ಬರಾನುಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀ ಸಜಸ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
असारे संसारे विषय विशो संज्ञाकुलोधिय क्षणार्थम क्षमार्थम पीबत सुखगथलूधम किमर्थम व्यर्थम भो व्रजत कुपथे कुत्सिते कथे परीक्षित साक्षी जत्सवनगत मुक्ति उक्ति कथने असार संसार विषय विशो संज्ञाकुलोधिय क्षणार्थम क्षमार्थम पीबत सुखगथलूधम किमर्थम व्यर्थम भो व्रजथ कुपथे कुत्सिते कथे परीक्षित साक्षी जत्सवनगत मुक्ति युक्ति क्षथने गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा टोल दैट टू गेट एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन द आचरण ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज द एक्चुअल आइडेंटिटी ऑफ ए गौरी प्रीचर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील जगदगुरु भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा टोल टू गेट एस्टाब्लिश टोटली इन दी आचरण शोन बाय चैतन्य महाप्रभु इट इज द एक्जैक्ट सिमटम अब ए एक्चुअल प्रीचर एक्चुअल आचार्य एक्चुअली देर इज अ वेरी डीप इन मीनिंग इन टू दिस यू नो एडवाइस बाय पहुपा एक्चुअली वी आर फॉलोइंग भागवत धर्म जस्ट नाउ आई डी साइड फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण glorification this shloka we are going to waste our time we are going to waste our valuable time and we cannot understand that what is guru tatva what is acharya tatva guru tatva mean acharya tatva we cannot understand extensive preaching of guru tatva extensive preaching of guru tatva आचार्य जत इज वेरी अर्जेंट टू सेव द होल वर्ल्ड इज वेरी अर्जेंट वील हैव टू यू नो टेक अप दिस सेवा एक्सटेंसिव वे प्रीचिंग ऑफ गुरु तथ आचार्य जत इज वेरी अर्जेंट अदरवाइज वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप पीपल अदरवाइज वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप पीपल फ्रॉम चीटिंग दे कैन गेट चीटेड एनी हाउ is very urgent now actually point is that bhagavat tattva vigyan bhagavat tattva vigyan mukta sangasya pariyayati you can remember that day i mean last uh, harikatha balaji maharaj abhirbhav tithi i was speaking about the, about one very important thing that when dauji maharaj went to naimi sharana there was one incident what is that actually romo romo harshan suto romo harshan was sitting in vasasam to speak hari katha and there balaji maharaj it is written in bhagavatam speaking because everybody all sadhu guru sadhu guru vaishnav they are standing and romarshan shuto not going to stand there actually balaji maharaj speaking my avatar is to is to you know cut you know my avatar special avatar is to kill all those dharmadaji you don't understand this meaning गौरी गोष्ठीपति शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद यूज टू स्पीक दैट दोज वा धर्म धजी दोज वा गोइंग टू पुट द फ्लैग ऑफ धर्म पर इन साइड कोरप्टेड प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दोज वा धर्म धजी दोज वा आर होल्डिंग द फ्लैग ऑफ धर्म प्रीचिंग एंड धर्म एवरीथिंग पर इन साइड ऑल करप्टेड प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग this dharmadha ji they are preaching what they are going to do you know bonded soul going to bonded soul gradually going to 
you know, to accept more and more bondage. Bonded soul, bonded soul naturally in bonded condition. More and more bonded condition can come in the life of those bonded soul. Those who are going to and you know, she, the acharan of those dharma dhaji. Those who are holding the flag of dharma, but inside all corrupted. He bonded so going to attend them. In that case, gradually more and more they can go to more and more bonded condition. They are already in bonded condition. So more and more bonded condition they can. They are going to accept more and more bonded condition. Who can, who can, who can save them? That is the main problem. So I am bound to speak that Bhagavat Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan Mukta Sangasa Pariyayate already you know. So one bonded soul whom I am going to accept as Guru, he cannot give me Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan. It's not possible. He cannot give me because it's not possible. So how I can get Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan? To Bhagavat Tattva, to get, to get Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan, to realize Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan, I will have to approach a uh, Bhagavat Tattvavit Sadhu. And you can remember, see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already told in Chaitanya Jyotamad, we can find this point, that Kiva Vipro Kiva Nasi Shudra Kane Noy, Jai Krishna Tattvavitta Sai Guru Hai. Maybe Vipra or Sanyasi or Shudra, Anybody who is going to have exact Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, I mean Krishna Tattva Vitta, surely you can accept this and Guru. Mahaprabhu speaking this point while discussing with Raya Ramananda Ji Maharaj there in Vidyanagar, there you can find this point. Mahaprabhu speaking, Kiva Vipro Kiva Nashi Shudra Kane Noy, Jai Krishna Tattva Vitta Sei Guru Hoy. Who is going to have Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan exactly, realization of Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan? Surely he is Guru. And up to which point Varnasrama Dharma is effective? Up to which point? Bhagavat, you know, actually up to which point this Varnasrama Dharma is effective? You should realize without Varnasrama Dharma all, you know, can break down the whole sense of social system. We cannot come out successful. But it is confined with the, within these bonded souls. Those who are realized soul, Paramahansa, you know, actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already identified. You know, you can seek cast you know, seek cast of last slok, you know, already you know. Naham vipo na cha narapati na pivishya na sudra naham karani na cha gyapati na manasriti ba. Kintu Paddan Nakhila Parmananda Purana Mita Dher Gopi Bhartur Padakamalayar Dasa Dasa Anu Dasa Ha. He is a real identity. Now my point is there. Bonded soul, how can get in touch with Sadguru? How to realize who is Sadguru, who is not? That is the main point. How we can realize? Bonded soul anyhow cannot realize who is actually Sadguru. He is the main problem. That's why just now I told the quotation of Bhopa Bhopa speaking, Dharma Dajigan, those who are holding the Dharma, uh, Bhagavad, holding the Dharma, uh, holding the flag of Dharma, Bhagavad Dharma, and inside corrupted, if they are going to speak Harikatha and those who are going to hear Harikatha, both of them going to hell. There is no reason. So, anyhow, we must understand Vaishnav Tattva, Guru Tattva, Acharya Tattva. And, and after that, we can understand who is genuine, who is not, or we can understand. So, so actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already told to get established in the Acharan, and Prabhupada told to get established in the Acharan totally, to get established in the Acharan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, is the symptom of a pracha. Pacharag and Acharya, you know, who he is not going to leave the absolute truth even when the death is just coming. In front of death, the death is in front, they are going to kill you. 
but still if he is not going to live absolute truth then he is definitely sadguru is definitely he is actually bhagavat tattvaveta you know he is actually who is going to who is going to grasp the absolute truth anyhow not going to make any compromise with that absolute truth he is is a symptom of a actual i symptom of actual acharya fan acharya actual acharya we should realize this point so actually bhagavat tattva vigyan i was speaking that dauji maharaj reaching naimi charanna they are dauji maharaj speaking something in front of that you know shromohasan suto romohasan suto not standing up there is so many reasons are there i can touch only this point baldaji maharaj speaking my avatar is to kill those you know dharmadaji to crush down their head you know pashanda dalam avatar you know that's why i am coming baldaji maharaj speaking so when bhagwan going to do any leela with that one leela within that leela there is multi purpose so many reasons are there so at the same time dauji maharaj you know going to declare that my avatar my avatar is to kill those dharmadha ji you know time to time i am coming and going to kill this dharmadha ji at the same time we will have to think who is dharmadha ji romo arsan actually bisona chokode i already discussed that point so this point is very important baldaji maharaj speaking je my avatar is to kill those dharmadha ji you know kill those dharmadha ji to purify bhagavad dharma bhagavad tattva vigyan i mean the the way you know when it is contaminated when it is contaminated total contaminated in that case i i am coming to purify it otherwise you know that day i was last hari katha i was speaking that manto parampara manto parampara and bhagavat parampara if you can understand properly and if you can reconcile properly then you can get a continuous flow of bhagavat dharma otherwise 100% there you can you, you will have to and uh, see some travel you will have to find sir you anyway you cannot find a smooth flow so propa that's why i because my point is actual actual point is that that acharya sip eternal acharya sip and sila propat this is actual topics for for so for different from different angle i am bound to discuss it so first point is that those who are in bonded condition they cannot act as acharya what can be more dangerous what can be more dangerous than a bond what can be more dangerous than this situation that we are getting one bonded soul acting as a child what can be more dangerous than that in bhagavad ji mahapuran seventh canto we find one thing prahlad maharaj speaking bimunchati jada kamaan manavo manusya sthitan tarhi eva pundari kaksha bhagavat taya kalpate as and when as and when you are we are going to cut all material desire no trace of material desire bimunchati jada kamano manavo manusya sthitano tarhi eva tarhi jarhi in the instant tarhi eva pundari gaksha bhagavat taya kalpate when we are going to cut or oh, you are going to leave all desire and any kind of material desire if clean in that case we can enjoy divine power coming from divine place i mean supreme lord immediately so bonded condition in bonded condition it is not possible for anybody to act as acharya and also also you know i was speaking about how it is rixi very rix to act as an acharya until and unless you are continuously in touch with that you know that transcendental world 
until and unless you are continuously in touch with the transcendental world and now you cannot accept acharya is big problem so continuously get in touch mean one kind of avesh abama induction totally absorbing condition sadguru acharya always in absorbing condition in seva absorbing condition all the time no artificiality there at all continuously here is always absorbed in hari seva bhagavat seva that's why popa told that the unique seva mood of an acharya unique unique seva mood of an acharya is a symptom is the exact symptom of an actual acharya so so actually you can remember i told long ago if you are going to put a piece of iron black iron into fire an iron piece if you can put into fire eh uh, then you can find that after some time it is glowing like same color like fire same color like fire this example is exactly applicable when sadguru vishnu continuously attached connected with that transcendental world through seva they are having you know tremendous power gurutva gravity that's why they can act as an acharya if you put one piece of iron into fire you can find that black iron not black now it is just like uh, just like you know glowing fire this way sadguru sadacharya always in touch with aprakita jagat transcendental world that's why they are so powerful they are not going to think about a material thing material enjoyment you know any kind of material you know enjoyment nothing there you know they are not thinking about any from mahabharat we know because if somebody in bondage soul going to act as a acharya that's why he told that it is one kind of curse because he is going to get all misery you know big problem because acharya mean you will have to take all the sinful activities of those who are coming to you if you cannot cut if you cannot burn up all the you know previous you know wrong activities i mean sinful activities of those bonded souls those who are coming to take diksha from you then you are not acharya and acharya is the symptom is that is uh, actually dikha dibbo gyanu jato dadyat kuryat papasya sanshayam for infinity for infinity for infinity period for infinity period bonded souls they are making some pop or a sinful activities as soon as you can come in front of a sadguru by the mercy of sadguru when he is going to give you mantra everything so first of all he is going to burn up all your previous you know sinful activities first of all if you are surrendered if you are surrendered unto the lotus feet of sadguru and sadguru going to give you diksha the procedure is there first of all sadguru can burn up all your previous you know sinful activities sadguru can never give you diksha and you cannot think that i am initiated at the same time i am going to preserve all my previous you know sinful activities not possible so sadguru can never initiate you by preserving all your previous sinful activity sinful result of previous sinful activities sadguru surely not going to give give to give you initiation uh, by preserving all your act, I mean, result of your previous activities previous result of previous sinful activities not possible so those who are bonded so it is it is one kind of curse for them to act as an acharya those who are continuously in line with supreme lord they can burn off because they are they can they can because they are continuously in touch with the supreme lord you know 
they are continuously in touch with supreme lord that's why there is no problem in mahabharat also in mahabharat i can give you one example one nice of, so that you can understand it properly actually in mahabharat it is written no king in this world can become pure pure meaning without any sin because in mahabharat it is written that one sixth sixth part one sixth part of any sinful activity is done by any countryman who is living in your country king he is responsible he will have to take one sixth part one sixth part of any sinful activities any you know people they are staying in your country kingdom they are doing king is surely going to take one sixth part so it is quite impossible for a king to become you know you know totally stain you know stain free impossible but king like prithu maharaj king like yudhishthir maharaj king like pallad maharaj and ambaris maharaj they are continuously in touch with supreme lord that's why there is no problem they can, they are not going to suffer anything that's why it is not problem for them because they are continuously in touch with supreme lord that's why they are tremendous bhakti yog they have that's why they can cut all problem they are, they are not going to get contaminated by that so first of all you should remember whereas it is written for us all prahlad ma speaking when when we are going to where when we are going to cut all our desire from heart any kind of material desire mood of enjoyment bimunchati yada kamam manova manusya sthitan tarhi eva pundarikaksha भगवताय कल्पते तरी एव इमीडियटली देन वेन देर इज नो डिजायर नो स्मेल ऑफ डिजायर इमीडिएटली ही इज गोइंग टू गेट डिवाइन पावर फ्रॉम डिवाइन वर्ड सो इन द प्रीचिंग ऑफ ए परभंस आचार्य इन द प्रीचिंग ऑफ ए प्योर वैष्णव देर कैन नॉट बी एनी जीव हिंसा इन द इन द इन द प्रीचिंग प्रोसिजियर In the preaching procedure of a paramansa ajar, you like Prabhupad, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, there is no question of jeev hingsa. Jeev hingsa, jeev hingsa means you know, you know, hingsa means you know, jeev hingsa. Prabhupad used to explain this point. Jeev hingsa means people think if I beat somebody, if I you know put a jivat man in trouble, it is called jeev hingsa. It is right. but actually popad used to explain that when we are going to misinterpret bhagavad tattva vigyan when we are going to interpret you know misinterpret misinterpret we are going to wrongly represent all bhagavad tattva vigyan or siddhant everything in that case it is called jivhingsa to get material pratishtha facilities we are going to give sweet sweet word in front of you all so that you can give i can enjoy wide acclamation everybody can you know praise me but supreme lord watching me so you know in the life of a paramansa acharya pure guru vishnu there is no question in their preaching procedure there cannot be any there cannot be any you know possibility of jeev hingsa because if i am not going to speak about their absolute truth under the guidance of prabhupad and bhakti vinod thakur guru varga then i am going to make jeev hingsa so I, surely i am going to get punishment surely this life and after my day surely so in the in the acharan of pure guru vishnu there cannot have any possibility of jeev hingsa jeev hingsa cannot be there also also i discussed previous that that day i was discussing one shloka from simad bhagavad ji mahapran first canto that bhagavat tattva vigyan is so pure so pure if you are going to approve it 
you cannot understand properly but you are going to approve it still you are going to get facility big facility so it is written that shruto anupathito dhyato adrito va anumodita ha sadho punati sad dharma devo vishodruho opihi shruto if you are going to you know if you are going to hear somehow anupathito you are going to after hearing you are going to recite you are going to meditate meditate adrito you are going to approve you know love you are going to love it very you know from heart you are going to accept it after that you are going to approve it okay there there harikatha should be there this kind of approval you know bar bar approval you know from heart shruto anupathito dhyato adrito va anumodita ha sadyo ho punati sad dharma dev vishya druho opihi bhagavat tattva vigyani sopio sopio that if you approve it you know after if you hear it if you recite it if you meditate if you love it from heart if you approve it so is going to purify a man who is going to you know, is going to going against who is going against even demigods and who is going against the whole world apparently he is going to get you know no reaction can be there bhagavat bhagavat dharma bhagavat tattva vigyan is so pure that there cannot be any question of any you know any you know uh, suffering there cannot be so so to understand this point actually so those who are you know dharma dhaji they are going to misguide us this way actually we are going to miss we are going to get misguidance from them so this way actually there is great problem last day i was speaking that why there is some different between opinion there is there is different opinion arrive why there is different kind of opinion coming in our society why this is because actually in bhagavad ji mahapurana is written even in 11th canto even evam prakriti vai chitra vidyante matayo ninam परम पर्जेन के सांचित प्रसन्न मतयो अपरे एवं प्रकृति वैचित्र ड्यू टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ संस्कार प्रीवियस संस्कार ड्यू टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रीवियस संस्कार दोज यू नो बॉन्डेड सोल दे आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय प्रकृति नेचर एवं प्रकृति वैचित्र वेदंते मतयो निनाम दिस वे यू नो परंपरा गोइंग ऑन after that there can be some breakage this way evam prakriti vaichitra due to the diversity of this you know prakriti nature and the different kind of sanskar is there inside human being so same bhagavat tattva vigyan you are going to hear from a sadhu but and you are going to understand some different way and another he is also going to hear he also going to hear but he is going to get some different meaning this way evam prakriti vai chitra vidyate matayo ninam param parjena ke sanchit pasanna matayo apare this way due to the diversity of nature nature of human beings automatically there was diversity seen in their opinion vichar some started following principles shown by previous guru acharya previous acharyas and some going to change their opinion they are going to make some different rules and regulation some started following principles shown by previous acharya guru varga whereas the others they started exhibiting or propagating an heretic you know opinions pashanna mat actually this way actually there is different kind of opinions so to get exact parampara exact flow of bhagavat tattva vigyan prabhupad wanted to show us 
that there is uh, there should be a nice harmony scientific procedure that there is mantra parampara and bhagavat parampara if there we can find bhopat krishna it chaturmukha krishna seven there we can find then after that we can find in the middle mahaprabhu sri chaitanya radha krishna nahi anno rupanug janer jivan this way you can find the mantra parampara after that bhagavat parampara total scientific reconciliation after that you can flow a intact you know flow of bhagavat tattva vigyan other is otherwise there is there it's a must there can be problem you know we cannot maintain huh. so actually prabhupad wanted to show the unique acharya sip eternal acharya sip eternal acharya sip and temporary acharya sip eternal acharya sip eternally coming and temporary acharya sip acharya sip somebody can try to show his activity is right for some time after that when he is deviated from the track of guru path padma suppose he was elected suppose he was elected but elected after the election maybe for some time he is following some rules and regulation properly after that he is going to break his rules and regulation then after that you cannot get exact flow like you know if there is any breakage of you know line then you are not going to get you know current current flow from the main source of current current coming to you if there is any breakage then you are not going to get any they uh, get any current here in between if there is breakage you cannot and uh, if there is if there is non conductor still you cannot get the flow of current properly suppose there is 440 volt in the original source eh? from there you are supposed to get current same flow but you cannot get because due to some interruption there may can be some breakage and if there is you know non conductor then you cannot expect any flow of current if there is breakage you cannot expect any current this way and also there is a poor conductor like aluminum this that which can melt very quickly uh, in that case also some for some time uh, you are going to use you know aluminum wire suppose for some time you can get after that it can melt up if voltage is high it melt up this example is i think it is just you know appropriate to understand that for some time we see that selected or elected acharya javas there is no way how to maintain how to maintain the society this question is totally different how to maintain this society this is totally separate issue and to maintain guru parampara exact way it is totally separate you cannot make confusion between two between these two is totally separate issue because you know anyhow you can try to maintain society by one you know manager this that but if you elect acharya in that case you will have to be very sure about and sure actually after that if he is going to make up for us then after he can get deviated from the track of guru path padma so we cannot we cannot expect that kind of power to flow intact way it is not possible so you see uh, this way we will have to think that selector related acharya can act properly if they like sila bhakti vedanta bamun goshi maharaj somehow because you know this way can maintain the acharya sip and if there is any breakage of parampara then there is big problem you cannot get so who is not going to who is going who is not going to take shelter of that absolute who is not at all going to take shelter of that absolute how we can expect that he can act as an acharya who is not going to take shelter of that absolute and eh? how we can expect expect that he can act as an acharya whereas we cannot become any sadhu even not you know perfect you know perfect you know human being 
perfect human being, they are also going to, they don't know absolute truth, but they, they are going to follow some, you know, uh, apparent truth, they are also going to follow. They have some principle, this, that, they are going to follow. But actually, Ajamil, Shaubhari, Jajati, they were very plain hearted, simple hearted. That's why, actually, Ajamil, Shaubhari, Jajati, they were plain hearted. There was no complicacy. That's why somehow they got some facility. That's why they, you know, got power after some time. They, they were in great trouble. Uh, Sovari, Ajamil, you know, after the Jajati. So, they could arrange their Mangal after some time. But those who are going to, if there is countless fault, if there is countless fault in any Jivatma, still there is no problem. If there is countless faults, shato shato durvalata. If there is countless faults, they are in bonded soul, that's not such a big problem. But if there is hypocrisy, kapat, you know, Prabhupada speaking, those who are weak, those who are, you know, those who are weak, durval. Because you can remember one kitan, kipakara pabhu tiyachit bal. Kipakara Prabhu Nayam Nayam Atma Balahinana Labhya Nayam Atma Balahinana Labhya Those who are weak, those who are, they have no power, very weak, they cannot run into the way of their absolute truth. I mean bhajan. It's not possible. Nayam Atma Balahinana Labhya So that ball means power. What is that kind of ball? That is a chit ball. So it in Kitan we can find Kipakara Prabhu Diya Chidbal. We can get Chidbal from Guru Vishnu, not from market. If I don't have any Chidbal, how I can give to you? So you cannot expect Chidbal. Chidbal is not sold in market. So, those who are having countless, you know, those who are, you know, you know weak point, still they can come out successful. If they are come in contact with Sadhguru Vishnu, if they are going to understand that we have done all rubbish previously, done all wrong, and going to confess, you know, going to show inclination, anugatha, after that they are going to get power, gradually they can get power. So, if there is so many, you know, weak points are there, that's not a that, why, that is why in Kirtan it is written, Yogyata Vichare Kichu Nahi Pai Tomara Karuna Sar. Yogyata Vichar, if Guru Padma going to, uh, going to going to follow one procedure through which he can select whom to give initiation, whom to not, you know, to qualification. If Guru Maharaj, if Guru Padma, Paramahansa Guru Varga going to, going to, you know, you know, understand that what kind of quality I have, yogyata vichare kichu nahi pai. Then in that case I can come out and I cannot come out successful. Guru Padma cannot select me. But yogyata vichare kichu na tomara karuna saro, their karuna, their mercy is most important thing. Guru prasado balavan na tasmat balavat taram Guru Prasado Balavan Na Tasmat Balavat Taram In Baraha Puran it is written Guru Prasad I mean the Kripa of Guru Vishnu is the topmost thing. You know. So in Baraha it is written So Guru Prasado Balavan Balavan Na Tasmat Balavat Taram Tathapi Sravana Dishyo Kartabhyo Mokha Shiddhaye It is written. Mokha means Bhakti. Not here. So, long ago I discussed in, you know, in, you know, in Barampur, there I discussed this point in Sava. The Guru Prasad is topmost thing. Suppose you are having so much, your memory is very good, you can memorize all Sastra, everything, you can hear and memorize everything, but you cannot, you cannot digest that Harikatha. 
you cannot you cannot get realization of that hari katha until and unless you are going to get proper guru kripa so guru prasad balavat no tasmat balavat term it is 100% you know and the second line tathapi shravana discho kartavyo still you are getting guru kripa after that shravan kirtan etc shravan kirtan all bhajan procedure you have to follow tathapi shravana discho kartavyo you will have to hear hari katha properly because hari katha can protect you who can protect you hari katha can protect you only to give full protection you will have to hear 24 ghanta all the 24 hours you will have to get in touch with guru vishnu to hear hari katha sometime in fine form sometime directly this way you have to follow so i can give example from upanishad also satyakam satyakam he was he heard in bhagavat in a brahma tattva from rishavadi satyakam when satyakam when he was sent to forest there he heard you know that brahma tattva from rishab adi different in four different stage he received you know that you know brahma tattva also you know upakoshal upakoshal also received from agni dev brahma vidya everything but still you can see in upanishad ultimately they came in front of acharya acharya speaking now you already having you know brahma tattva vigya they are see you know upakoshal saying no gurudev i will have to hear from you again because i hear but it is not i am not getting proper realization so it is so again again they took you know you know advice i mean uh, brahma tattva brahma vidya again they received from guru patpadmo to get satisfied this way actually acharya tattva guru tattva guru tattva you know, you know is so important so important it is not it is not it is not you know so you know so cheap points is very sensitive point there is a question of our there is a question of our survival we are sometime we feel sorry after hearing all this thing but you try to understand that it is a very vital point sensitive point is a question of our survival is a question of your survival is a question of my survival it is the question of survival total sampradayik you know you know those who are not people those who are there so if we are not going to discuss this point proper way scientific way then who can save us so this way actually great problem can be there in whole sampradaya you know so is a question of our survival because proper speaking after this body gone we will have to we will have to be actual intelligent after this body gone what we are going to get we are going to get eternal seva in eternal jagat or not all these questions should be finalized not fighting not fighting on the small issues so we will have to repeatedly understand that we can get success after this body gone proper speaking we are going to get eternal seva and eternal dham or not if not then what use we have to repeatedly think after this body gone then what we can get what we are going to get success what success we can get vastu siddhi first you can get saru siddhi after that vastu siddhi so repeatedly we will have to understand this guru tattva acharya tattva repeatedly after that we can understand so you can have money power you can have you know so you know educational power you can apply your power but you cannot come out successful in bhajan if it, there is not pro, no proper guru keep us not there then you cannot get i told many time that it is the duty of brahma brahma mean it is honey bees only honey bees they it is their duty to collect honey from flowers 
So maybe you have you have manpower and money power, but still somehow you cannot get honey from flower. It's not possible. For honey, you will have to depend upon. For honey, you will have to depend upon the honey bees. No other way. So those you know those guru bhishnav they are actually honey bees. Sri Chaitanya Padam Bhujo Malu Pe Bhio Namo Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Padam Bhujo Malu Pe Bhio Namo Namaha. Kathanchit Asraya Jesam Sao Pitad Gandavak Bhavit. Krishna Das Kavira Jusme Writing. Krishna Das Kavira Jusme Writing. Those who are honeybees, they are hovering around. This is a this is a lotus flower, like I mean the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet, you know. All Guru Bhargav they are hovering around this lotus, you know, feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. See Chaitanya Padam Bhujo Madhu Pe Bhio Namo Namo. They are Madhu Pe Bhio. They are as honeybees. They are hovering around to collect honey. You cannot collect directly. So this way. If you are going to take shelter of those honeybees, when with fair heart, niskapat, there should not be any duplicity. In that case, hundred percent we can come out successful. No problem. No, no problem. In we can come out successful. So we can come out success anyway. Repeatedly, Baba speaking. Repeatedly, Baba speaking. Bonded soul, bonded soul like to get a vivid example. Bonded soul anyhow cannot get any power to do bhajan. Bonded soul cannot get any power to do bhajan anyway. They like to see one vivid example, glowing example in front of them. If they can, if they can see a glowing other so idealism. That our Guru Bhargava Popa doing bhakti, you know Thakur doing Kesab Goswami bhakti, what they are doing. In that case, if they are not kapat, then they can also get inspiration to do seva. They can they uh, they can try to do bhajan properly because bonded soul full of anartha. At the time of diksha, you can cut all anartha, but not possible because that time hundred percent inclination is not satisfied. At the time of diksha. Under the lotus feet of Pavupat, if I am going to show inclination to lotus feet of Kesho Kesho, it is, you know. Uh, but actually, at the time of Diksha, we can cut all anartha. Anartha, all sinful activities, all or anartha, Shadguru cannot preserve all anartha, everything, and give you Diksha. It is not possible. Pavupat thinking this is not the procedure of Diksha. Diksha means first of all you will have to, you know, Shadguru going to. Cut, burn up all you know previous you know sinful activities, everything. Uh, so then, there is the actual, and also there is one procedure. Previously there is honor, so I couldn't show hundred percent inclination. After that, gradually I am growing sincerity, you know everything gradually by satsanga. After that, I can show hundred percent inclination. The day I can show hundred percent inclination and to to speak the power path and bhakti. I can get result. Papa speaking because bonded soul anyhow, they like to see direct example. They like to always they like to see direct example. Without direct example, they are not going to they are not going to believe. You know, they are so anartha jukta, they are so weak, they cannot believe. So they like to hear and see the direct you know etiquette, achar idealism of pure Guru Vishnu. In that case, they they can try to do. Otherwise, they cannot proceed in the way of that. You know, so Pope is now gone, but still his bani, his hari katha bani, everything is there. Bhakti Mitra gone, so so bonded soul can somehow try to take shelter of their bani through authentic source. They can try to. So, acharya can never follow one fanciful attitude. Acharya can never follow you know whimsical attitude. Acharya must follow you know the exact procedure shown by our guru varga exactly. If there is if there is breakage, 
then you can go on fighting with this issue. Maharaj, he was made Acharya, was that great man, but now this is the condition. Now I can give one example. One example. You can understand. From the Leela of Prabhupada in his... You can remember, when Gauri, Gauri Pishad Bhavaj Maharaj is going to leave his body, Uttan Nekadashi day, that time all Sahaji are going to take control over the they skin my body. And also, Bhimala Pasha Saraswati Prabhupada also reached there. Prabhupada also was bound to reach there. And there Prabhupada find they, they are fighting among themselves who can get control over this transcendental body. Because this is also a very, very, very nice procedure of doing business. Because if we can get control over this transcendental body, we can make some samadhi and make some small mandir. It is an earning procedure. Very nice earning. This way, when Prabhupada reached there, Prabhupada find they are all fighting among themselves. And they are not at all ready to, uh, ready to allow Prabhupada to take control over this. Now, police already, police inspector, energy, everything, you know, they came to, to take control over the situation. Ultimately, some question answer was there. And Prabhupada speaking loudly, that I am the only disciple of this Paramahansa Acharya. Now, you can misunderstand. You can misunderstand that Prabhupada is so, you know, so, you know, puffed up, he is so much, you know, false ego. Prabhupada speaking, I am the only disciple. No, man. When Prabhupada speaking this way, that I am the only disciple of this Paramahansa, this is Siddhanta, not false ego. But if you like to demand that way, it is false ego. When Popat is going to speak that way, that I am the only disciple of that, that Paramahansa Acharya, then it is not at all false ego. You have the 100% possibility to understand, misunderstand Popat. When Popat is speaking, I am the only disciple of and then this Paramahansa Acharya, it is actually Siddhanta. Why Siddhanta? Because you can search the whole society, you can find really so. Popad is only going to follow the total idealism of Gokisar Bhai Maharaj. In Toto. All Achar, others, everything. Popad only following. Popad only following Gokisar Bhai Maharaj. You, you are blind, that's why you cannot see. You are blind, that's why you cannot see. But actually, Popad is actually following. Popad actually. Popad actually. Following Gorkisar Bhajma in total. There is no you know, question of any fight. So, when Prabhupada speaking, it is not at all you know, false ego, it is actually Siddhanta. And we are busy with some cheap sentiment. Where, why we are going down and down? Why? What can be the reason? The only reason that we are busy with cheap sentiment. Oh, Maharaj, that great Acharya, he selected that Acharya. I already told that day, my Guru, Guru Pat Padma was bound to put question in front of a big Acharya. That Maharaj, can I put one question in front of you? Maharaj said, yes. Why you select this Acharya? Why you select him as Acharya? Whereas you know already he fall down, everything down. You know everything. He was bound to speak what to do. You know, what to do? Whom to make? I, can, I, I find nobody here whom to make a child. This way actually he was bound to make one manager. We can think this way, manager. That's why Prabhupada was bound to select one manager. Manager. Because I already give argument that day that what was the first Siddhanta Prabhupada thought that if the Acharya is self-manifested, if they have some Acharya quality, automatically manifest, can manifest after my, you know, after I go away. Second one, if I go on, uh, if, I, if, I, if I follow this procedure, because I already declared before, selection of Acharya is not possible. Sometimes possible. When, when Acharya, you can see total idealism reflected. Not possible, not the Prabhupada speaking right. But in some, you know, some absolute level, sometimes it is possible. When 
disciple going to follow guru pad padma 100 which is rare almost rare going to follow guru pad padma his idealism principle all divan kan siddhanta vichar all etiquette ya acharan all reflect we can see toto reflected in the life of present acharya in that case it is possible is rare case you know i already give you how how you know ramanujacharya ramanuj ramanujacharya there after that parampara after that all this is samananda prabhu there you know from hidai chaitanya and before that gauridas so this way parampara not at all possible i'm not saying prabhupad wanted to install this siddhanta vichar because we can miss take me we can we can misuse this siddhanta we we no we can you know he proper going to allow okay that's why popa told that it is not possible and to select a chai acharya self manifested that's why really so even in front of guru patmadmo if one one shishya going to do seva seva continuously doing seva in as per bhagavatam i already told snigdha sasishya guru va gujham apyuto so guru patmadmo can realize a total you know power is coming inside this this my disciple actually like like madhavendra puripa from madhavendra puripa ishwar puripa you can see this way but ramchandra puri ramchandra puri all you know ramchandra puri is you know rejected by madhavendra puripa this way when guru patpad in his lifetime can find 100% all siddhant vichar flawless seva in whole life done by this disciple in that case as per bhagavat siddhanta snigdasya sishyasya gurava gujyam apyuto i mean in front of snigdha sishyo guru pad padmo is not going to hide anything secret of bhajan that's mean he is going to you know attoshat attoshat you know total going to you know harmonize guru pad sishyo that disciple is now totally harmonized with guru pad in that case possible if guru pad pad no watching in his lifetime that he is totally harmonized with me if there is you know and there is an you know if there is any such you know problem then he can make the him acharya as possible then not that not possible 100% but the siddhant is that in his lifetime he can find that inside disciple acharya to acharya sip is totally manifested try to understand this point it is not going against popa what popa told something in his lifetime if if some sadguru can find the total acharya sip eternal acharya sip is totally manifested inside him in that case there is no problem because it is do guru patan going to elect but it is self manifested already in that case no siddhanta virod there and also prabhupad used to explain this slok this way snigdha sasishya saguru bhu gujham apyuto snigdha sasishya mean sober disciple but sober this word is not applicable here totally not matching snigdha is more so more deep meanings you know snigdha sasishya mean snigdha sasishya mean who is totally harmonized with guru patpad totally slightest departure is not there deviation is not there you know so this way snigdha sasishya saguru bhu gujham apyuto says all secret thing of bhajan guru patpad no going to un- going to unveil the heart in front of the disciple not in front of everybody he is called snigdha sishyo he can receive all the siddhanta vichara of guru patpatma all acharan all siddhanta everything in toto in that case it is possible so it is not going against popat it is no so popat was bound to make because if i popat thought that if i am going to make select in that case there can be that they everybody can select one procedure so rithik procedure and eternal acharya sip not same rithik procedure mein those were sahajya they are going to follow this procedure before death they are going to select one acharya they has to select one acharya other who can maintain a maharaj maintaining one society and uh, the 
activities of acharya are not not same i can now give one example so you can understand one point so it is from ayodhya from ayodhya there is choto chauni and baro chauni there is two big you know there is so many temples choto chauni baro chauni you know there is there is one there is big big you know temple there in one temple there was uh, acharya is now over 90 years so acharya took decision to make somebody acharya who is having shastra gyan this that so so he took decision to make him acharya ha huh? so inside eternal acharya see inside the heart of a real acharya we can you can find no fault even if you see one single siddhanta wrong he is you know has big proficiency he can recite bhagavat he can speak harikatha but sometime he is making some siddhanta virodh that's mean he is not eternal acharya eternal acharya can never make any mistake he can you know interpret and going to explain gita bhagavat this that you can find so many mistake there and eh? out of his proficiency proficiency is going to speak but if there is single mistake because acharya in the, there cannot be in any such in you know, a provision the acharya also can make mistake and how possible acharya can make mistake if acharya can make mistake then he is the eternal acharya he is not there so now you uh, you try to understand this incident what i am going to speak in ayodhya one old maharaj ramanandi sadhu sa not our sampada is going to take decision to make somebody acharya is having some sastra gyan this not that all qualities there inside so this is a system of uh, selection what to do he is going to make him acharya a date was fixed up all invitees all the already in reach already there then uh, time is going to cross where within 11:30 abhishek abhishek should be done now present acharya that mean old acharyas is going to call that man he is sending one message you call 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 him call him now time is going to over call him he must come quickly otherwise we cannot you know start our function first time is sending he is sending uh, he, the messenger coming and speaking he is taking preparation then after 20 uh, 10, 15 minutes again sending hey speak him quickly a time is going to over cross again is taking preparation third time when half an hour gone almost you know big problem can happen then is sending messenger quick 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 you have to come are they still then he is speaking i uh, is taking preparation then acharya become very angry he he still you see, you go you go then to messenger he is speaking to other disciple you go to goshala you go to goshala the small boy brahmin boy in a very nice by you bring him i can make him make him acharya he bring him he bring him then after that small boy you know i may maybe 14 or 15 after that he has make acharya so this way you know, see acharya selection is so tough so chaise is impossible almost impossible how to select is impossible so this way you know we find there is big problem acharya is full of mercy there is no symptom of any jivhingsa and now there is no there cannot be now so we must understand this guru tattva we must acharya ji understand this you know bhagavat tattva vigyan we must understand this you know uh, acharya tattva guru tattva so then we can avoid problem then we can avoid problem otherwise is impossible you know so first of all we must open our eyes we are actually blind actually we are blind we must open our eyes actually we are blind we must open our eyes to understand guru tattva to see properly what is uh, guru tattva what is acharya tattva you must understand we are blind that's why we cannot see properly so 
there is so much problem so much fighting going on in the life of prabhupad what kind of eternal acharya sip was there in the life of prabhupad you know and bhakti mur thakur repeatedly requesting bhakti mur thakur repeatedly requesting oh man after traveling after don't become busy don't become busy to accept acharya bhakti mur thakur requesting oh man don't become very busy to accept acharya wait and see wait and see if you are sincere then automatically you can get divine help so you are you are very busy you know no you are very busy to accept on acharya right now bhakti mur thakur said don't be busy this is very you know very important you know decision you are going to take in your life bhakti mur thakur speaking oh man don't be busy with this you know selection of acharya after traveling so many villages and cities and countries luckily we can get darshan of your sadhu even if after taking darshan of sadhu we can understand him cannot understand so if we are going to take quick decision about making one acharya bhakti mr tok is begin don't be busy you will have to wait if this life you are not going to get any proper acharya who can deliver you jaharo nikote gele pap dure jay emono doyal prabhu keba kotha pai so all narottam thakur speaking in kirtan bhakti mutok speaking in the all shastra they are everything there but we are so blind we cannot understand this way we cannot understand everything there narottam thakur already to in front of one pure sadhu if you reach you can purify yourself because supreme lord is always there inside the heart of that devotee that acharya that sadhu that's why many time i discuss this point from bhagavatam you know bhavat vida bhagavata tirthi bhuta swayam vibho he tirthi kurvanti ti tirthi kurvanti tirthani santastena gada vida gada vrita Yeah, Judishir Maharaj speaking to Vidurji Maharaj, who is Acharya, is Acharan. Acharan, his Acharan can speak that he is Acharya. Vidurji Maharaj, in front of Vidurji Maharaj, Judishir Maharaj speaking that you are traveling here and there to purify people, to purify people, bonded soul. Actually, Supreme Lord is there inside your heart. You are yourself a big pilgrimage, a pure sadhu. You know, that's why North Tamil Nadu meditated. Tithya yatta parishram in kirtan. Simply by kirtan you can get supreme Lord. I promise you in Basasam. You know, everything there. But who is going to discuss? Who is going to hear? Huh? Ascha ascha jo sabakta kushala shala bhaya. I told. If there is at all any shad guru, but who is going to accept that power? who is going to accept that tattva vigyan so narottamuda go speaking tirtha yatra parishram sakali moner bhom sarva siddhu govind charan tirtha yatra we i want to travel in here and there here and there all foolish if you are going to get this if you are going to get complete thing if you are going to complete thing from your guru If you are, if you are going to get complete thing from that, the thing, Prabhu, you are so foolish you cannot understand that you can remember many times I told Prabhu speaking the kind of highest association giving me my my giving by my Guru Path Padma, I never feel it necessary, necessity to get the association other association. My Guru Path Padma giving so highest association, so excellent association. but i cannot find this thing reflect you know in in your life if you are going to get exact set down to all exact thing you know from one source but still you are traveling running because you are chanchal if i am going to get exact thing exact tatva vigyan everything everything complete thing why should i run here and there if i run here and there maybe i can get some siddhant you all some etiquette see i cannot understand then i can make aparadhan to the lotus feet of some this way 
all the time we are going to make aparad so northam dagu speaking we we are going to travel here and there tithi yatra but i am going to going to visit different pilgrimage because i am chancha but guru charan is the guru charan is the complete tirtha guru charan guru padma is the complete tirtha in whole brahmanda there can be so many tirthas pilgrimage but guru charan sat guru charan is the complete tirtha i need not go anywhere i can get success i can get everything from this guru pad guru charan i can get everything so judishir maharaj speaking this clearly that actually inside the heart of vidur ji maharaj santasthen gada bhritah supreme lord aje supreme lord is there inside the heart of vidur ji maharaj so judishir maharaj speaking supreme lord is there inside your heart so when you are traveling here and there you are going to purify that tirtha recharge you are going to recharge the tirtha what tirtha we can do your your lotus feet is a topmost tirtha actually this way uh, we cannot understand we are chanchal so you are running here and there all the time so bhakti munt was speaking after traveling many countries many you know many villages and towns if our luck is good favorable then by chance we can get a sadhu or cannot get a sadhu so this way after getting sadhu sadhu how you can see you are going to apply your brain apply your you know you know sense organs to check up a sadhu many question coming in front of me this same question how to realize who is genuine who is not we are confused we are in confusion how to realize who is genuine who is not how to realize who is genuine who is not that is the main question but actually the answer is that if i am totally you know free of you know duplicity then automatically i can get if my demand if my demand from heart for sadguru is genuine if i want to get sadguru if i 100% if i want to do bhajan then it is a duty of balaji maharaj to manifest you know you know manifest guru tatva in front of him in in the form of some sadguru in the form of some sadguru i can find balaji maharaj already coming in front of me so it is not a big problem we can get sadguru can come in front of me that's not a big problem so first of all i will have to become sincere otherwise in whole life i cannot understand so many tatva i am speaking if we can understand that how to realize who is who is genuine who is not you know you can automatically understand you know you can automatically those who are hearing hari katha for past so long time they are saying they are saying maharaj now if we look at somebody then we can understand automatically we can automatically understand there is you know there is falsity and there is no genuinity no genuinity the those who are going to hear hari katha from heart genuine hari katha sabda brahma automatically they are going to get power to understand this thing who is genuine who is not no question of you know fighting over this point you know bhakti mun tag speaking after searching so many village and towns of madhagon it is rare we can meet with a pure sadhu we cannot meet this chance and and bhakti mun tag speaking satsanga mean some common people they are going to think satsanga mean to give something to sadhu and adadati pratiginnati ददाति प्रतिगिन्नाति पृच्छति गुज्यमाच्यते न सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर ददाति प्रतिगिन्नाति एंड देयर है नो सो मेनी थिंग्स इन उपनिषद में उपदेशम इट इज रिटन सो ऑल सिक्स काइंड ऑफ यू नो एक्सचेंज पृच्छति गुज्यमाच्यति 
हैं ददाति पति गिन्ना धी पृछति गुज्ज मक्षति भुंगते भुजयति सरयु सरु सरविद पितृ लक्षण सो भक्ति मुक्त को स्पीकिंग मेन साधु संग भक्ति मुक्त को पॉइंट गोइंग टू पॉइंट आउट वी आर गोइंग टू पब्लिश ऑल वेरी सीक्रेट आर्टिकल्स ऑफ भक्ति मुक्त को एंड पॉप सिलेक्टेड है नो गोइंग टू टू इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू पब्लिश वेरी क्विकली सो यू कैन रीड एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग सो Bhaktivinoda Thakur was speaking. People think that we can give something, we can invite some sadhu, give some deep them prasadam. This way is, is the means. But Bhaktivinoda was speaking to hear Hari Katha from, to hear Hari Katha from pure sadhu guru Vishnu, and to digest those Hari Katha in life. Not that only hearing. Somebody, some 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 people are there. They are only hearing. They are only hearing. so only here they are not going to they are not going to apply those principle in their own a pure vishnav is why he is pure vishnav because he is going to apply all principles all harikatha what he is speaking he is applying in his own life he is following practicing acharya so all you will have to follow or only not that only here harikatha you can hear after that you can forget or you can pass some lecture to somebody else this is not actually siddhanta this is not actually see if you can digest hari katha totally <coughs> you you try if you can try to apply in your own life own life then we can say that it is okay then it is okay if you cannot apply in your own life then big problem then they they are actually uh so those who are not going to follow those those you know those principles bhagavat tattva vigyan in principle is on their own life then it is useless because bhagavat bhakti hinasya yatihi shastram japo tapaha apranasyaiv dehasya you know mand mandanasya lokaranjana If one dead body, if one dead body of a beautiful lady, if one dead body of a beautiful lady is decorated with so much ornaments, so much ornaments, everything, then what use? So much ornaments are there, diamond, these, that, all dead body. But is there any use? That's why in Shastra we know that that actually. भगवत भक्ति हिनस्व भगवत भक्ति इज द मेन डेकोरेशन इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ यू नो बिल्ली बाई यू नो बिल्ली बाई यू नो इन रामायण सबरी भक्ति वॉज द डेकोरेशन इन साइड इज आर इन साइड हार हार्ट यू नो सो वी फाइंड दैट इफ देर इज नो भक्ति देन ओनली द पोस्ट इट इज नॉट द पोस्ट ऑफ एन ऑफ ए मिनिस्टर so the minister can take oath you know minister can take oath in vidhan sabha rajya sabha there after this is not going to follow anything you know sapat grahan resolution they are going to take they are not going to follow any principle they take resolution in front of public we are going to follow this and this so actually what kind of tough you know speech given by kesab goshi mara pahupa ji see even kesab goshi ma speaking those who are going to manifest in the form of parents father and mother kesab goshi ma speaking what to speak how you can fight with me kesab goshi ma speaking those who are going to manifest themselves in the form of father and mother they need to train themselves up. they need to train up themselves first kesab goshi ma speaking they must train themselves they must train themselves first how to how to play the role of father how to act as a genuine father genuine mother there should be idealism principle then you can expect some ideal children in your life you have no principle nothing one question coming from brazil some school teacher of college college principal speaking uh, there is good and bad you know wise and all useless nothing applicable nothing is i see is master is big principle of master a student and going to 
sent question i say who is having no idea about what is good what is pious what is you know virtue wise everything no conception he is coming from hell he is not acharya he is not acharya he is not actually he is not actually a teacher teacher mean acharya in sanskrit we say acharya and there are here acharya and spiritual lines different some meaning but in sanskrit actually master mean acharya ha huh. so they are going to teach student this way or oh, good and bad or uh, right or wrong all false ha huh? but told idiot they are speaking this way master going to teach so how you can expect so kesab gosim are speaking a teacher a teach a teacher should be trained up a father should be trained up a mother should be trained up otherwise all problem so acharya we cannot train up acharya it is not possible self manifest yet and no, follow so you see so if one dead body is decorated with ornaments what use so if there is no bhakti inside my heart what use of use of my lecture if i am not going to uh, if i am not going to follow all principles in my own life if i am not going to apply everything what i am speaking to you if i am not going to apply in my own life then what is the use of my lecture what use so acharya ban purusho vedah anyway it is not the question of fighting try to understand it is written in veda acharya ban purusho vedah if you are not going to get perfect acharya in your own life there is no possibility that you can do bhajan properly try to understand no no question of fighting acharya ban purusho vedah acharya ban mean who is going to get perfect acharya who is already getting acharya perfect acharya who can deliver me from hell is so powerful you know cha acharya ban purusho vedah vedah mean he can realize he can know he can get seva eternal seva who can realize supreme lord who is having perfect acharya acharya ban purusho vedah is not the question of fighting you know if you are not going to get perfect acharya in your life in your life and you are if you are not sincere both you must be sincere and acharya maybe acharya is good you are not sincere then fault can be there, there you know and also you are sincere you are sincere I mean you can get sit perfect acharya no doubt so it is written that if you are going to decorate the body of a dead and you know, a ladies dead body bhagavad bhakti hina so yati hi maybe he is from a good brahmin family very high brahmin family so what now it is dead body so bhagavad bhakti hina so yati hi maybe he is from high family tradition very high and shastra maybe she was knowing so many shastras japa tapa hai na bhagavad bhakti hina so He is going. He is going to memorize sastra, doing to chopa everything, stopa, astriti and finances. He is doing everything, but is all useless without bhakti, without submission and the lotus feet of sad guru, without achieving bhakti, all useless. Bhagavad bhakti hinasya yati hi sastram japa ha tapa ha a pranasayiva a pranasayiva dehasya mandanam. Lok or anjanam. It is also one kind of decoration. The today we are so foolish, so foolish, so foolish. We are busy with some external, some glamour, position. We are so blind. We cannot see the actual tattva vigya. Actually, we have no mood to understand the actual. Otherwise, why fighting taking place? So I told you, acharya bhakya. If some acharya try to understand, don't try to put question in front of me. over this try to understand and to keep silence and go on doing vision suppose one acharya you writing so much books you can come to me i can show you all wrong siddhanta brahmo pramad viprolipsha karna patab four kinds of usual defects we can expect expect from a bonded soul no not from a genuine acharya we cannot expect it is not possible 
Because perfection is there. If there is no perfection attained by this, how he can act as a nature? Try to understand this point. This is not club, Saturday club or Sunday club. Try to understand this point. You know, if he is not established in tattva vigyan, he is not having bhakti. What you can preach? What you can give? What guru maharaj can give to me through through initiation bhakti? Na, this is the. So actually, this point is that uh, if there is no bhakti. then it is one kind of decoration we are busy with glamour position everything and position i can discuss next day and bhakti mun tag is speaking present acharyas they are restless bhakti mun tag they are they have no patience they are always busy with pratishta this that present acharya bhakti mun tag is speaking i can i can discuss this point tomorrow try to realize this point please it is my request don't try to fight and you know only decoration all different kind of feast big big feast and functions are there all different people but what is the net outcome what is the net outcome that you will have to calculate what is the net you are going to attend a function na okay you can attend you can attend as per popa popa speaking if there is perfect function they are all purity they are maintaining you know regarding cooking regarding archan regarding harikatha regarding maintenance all but they are going to ignore all this thing only external thing how much people going to take how nice nice items are there at all it is prasadam or not prasadam it's not a big matter only our enjoyment sensual gratification is the main issue at present so अप्राणस्व देहस्व मंडल लोकरंजन इट इज वन कैंड ऑफ डेकोरेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सेटिस्फाई कॉमन पीपल बिकॉज यू नो वी आर अरेंजिंग वन फंक्शन एवरीबॉडी कैन गिव जॉय 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 एवरीबॉडी कैन स्पीक वी लेक टू हियर दिस थिंग मेनी टाइम बिफोर आई टो पोबा स्पीकिंग आई कैसे कुछ मैं स्पीकिंग इट इज अवर एक्चुअली बैड हैबिट इट इज अवर क्रॉनिक डिजीज इट इज अवर बैड हैबिट वी आर हैवी टू हियर False patista. We are always busy to hear false patista. We are always busy to hear false patista. People can give joy car, give mala, arrange big big. Maharaj, please, it is my request. Try to you know, try to develop submission unto Lord Ram Spirit. Then you can understand all what I mean to say. And Acharya can read, write so much books. And there's so much mistakes, you know. Siddhanta Biro, maybe spelling mistake it can be there, printing mistake. So much. Then hundred percent, I mean, basa sam. I can speak in the name of Prabhupad that he is not at all acharya. He is not. He can have material achievement, so much material achievement regarding his establishing so much mats and mandir, everything, so much disciple, but it's not actual. He is not eternal acharya. Try to understand this point. If you can come to me, I can show you thousands of defects, which is not never spoken by Rupa Goswami, never spoken by you know Sanatan Goswami, never spoken by Jiva Goswami, never spoken by Raghunath. No acharya. After now, Raghunath, you know, and Bhakti Vinod Thakur Popa, never is there new Shiddhanta they are making. So Brahmo Prama, I can discuss this point tomorrow. Brahmo Prama, we prolish our Guru Pratap's. These are the four defects which can. we can never expect from a perfect acharya sadguru but you are busy with selection of acharya maharaj we can make him is a lot of money is lot of position okay you get busy you can get busy from gita i can discuss any functions anything you are going to do bhakti mota writing in commentary tomorrow i can discuss what is the net outcome what is the net outcome you are going to get that you should calculate if you cannot calculate if you are not busy to calculate then you are going to travel life after life this way life after life you will have to travel like a blind andha yathando irupaniyamanam teyo pisichatanta mudam nivadda i have nothing to do i am speaking all from different angles you know from different angles i can show you this is those are the symptoms If you find this disease, this, this point, these are the disease, you know, symptoms. 
through which you can take decision is not actually perfect acharya you have done mistake in your life you have taken diksha from him or wrong your life is spoiled you will have to you know because it is the instruction of shastra suppose you have taken diksha from uh, from from a asad guru who is not sad guru then punascha vidhina grahet punascha vidhina grahet vaishnav bad guru again you will have to accept a paramansa sad guru otherwise you cannot come out successful in your life and also it is written you know if there is you know he is actually maybe madhyam adhikari according to your luck you are going to he is not making any mistake at least but realization is not so high madhyam adhikari top most level top level is doing something but not you know siddhant vir nothing in that case if that gurudev is gone or gurudev is present then you can take permission from guru patpadmu guru maharaj i can uh, go and hear hari katha from that sadhu who is uh, speaking this kind of hari katha then if he is going to give permission then, and also then in that case one symptom should be there and uh, that sadhu from who from whom you are going to hear hari katha he become your shiksha guru if your guru patpad is not paramansho but second uh, madhyam adhikari high level not paramansho in that case you can take this kind of advantage no you need not leave because your guru man not going going to make any mistake corrected is good everything will principal good but not so big realization in that case with the permission of your guru patpad you can take the help of a shiksha guru who can give power to you because guru tatva originally one with the permission of your which is and a and main thing you will have to decide that if you are going to take the help of a shiksha guru a uh, shiksha guru then it should not disturb your main guru seva jiva goshi pa siddhanta you already told na already told eh that it should not disturb your main guru seva and eh? it should not disturb your main guru seva and be careful that if you are going to accept him as 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 sadguru or shiksha guru if he is not going to hit your guru patpad if there is some politics there then you cannot accept him as shiksha guru if sadguru going to love your guru patpad sometime it happens so guru patpad me is very high level but he cannot explain hari katha properly paramansa you know gorkishor baba speaking so many hari katha not publicly going sometimes speaking but in that case you know there can be confusion in your life in that case you know you can take permission from him to attain some uh, to to hear hari katha from a shiksha guru in that case guru tat guru tat is unique tat so in that case if this shiksha guru not going to hit my guru patpad no he is not going to make disturbance in the way of my guru seva in the way of my main guru seva he is not making any disturbance he is going to you know teach me he is going to teach me how to love and respect diksha guru he is not going to make any apology he is going to going to teach me this way you should respect your guru path padma this way you should respect do your guru seva this way He is going to give me teaching this way. He is not going going against Guru Patpadma, the Kya Guru Patpadma. In that case, you can accept this is a main symptom, you know. But nobody who is going to pass this kind of judgment. Jibo ko same as speaking na. The first you will have to think this thing is not going to disturb main Guru Seva. If there is main Guru Seva, because you are going to get diksha from you know from that Guru Patpadma. so you can compensate him factor you can get the help of this shiksha guru who is in line with all our guru parampara then in that case you can get power you can revive your power you can get power no problem this is a symptom actually so according to your previous sanskar according to your sincerity you can get the help of divine help you can get guru there is no question of fighting but bhakti mun takuru 
speaking they almost uh, you know almost all ashaya present they are going to you know lose their patience you know bartama acha jugan tara sab asohishnu you know they are going to show some you know restlessness without pratishta they they become very angry they need pratishta anyhow and previous discussion you should remember i told you know that pratishta is the last kick pratishta is the last kick of mahadevi so konoko kamini pratishta bagini konoko kamini everything you can you can you know go out of the influence of those thing but pratishta is too much very dangerous pratishta is so dangerous so dangerous even after my death even after my death somebody can worship me somebody can do jaykara pratishta is so dangerous even after you know living body is expecting pratishta even after death pratishta is not going to leave you he is also have some expectation the big big political leaders is that they are, even after living body they expecting pratishta they everybody can worship us this that so first point you know pratishta desire is there or not you first understand if you are sincere go through all symptoms i am speaking one by one like doctor you know ayurvedic doctor you can go on you can find all symptoms then you can automatically understand there is some fallacy you can understand so we cannot expect any kind of defects any kind of defects but as per rupa goshi pad na e rupa goshi pad speaking that some external defects you know physical defect this i am not speaking about that defects i am speaking about you know we cannot express siddhanta virodh this that you know uh, i am not speaking about ripogosim is speaking na if some bodily defects is there some disease you can find so this kind of you you should not find i can discuss this point tomorrow to clarify this point so then you can understand perfectly what i mean to say what i mean to say so ultimately i am going to stop this harikatha with one shlok very nice tomorrow i can discuss acharya dharmam paricharya vishnu vicharya tirthani vicharya vedanu bina bina na gaura priya pada sevam vedadi duspa padam vidanti ves pai prabodan saraswati pat you know what is acharya dharmam paricharya vishnu vicharya vicharya tirthani vicharya vedanu binana gaur priya pad sevam vedadi duspa padam vidanti kipaya hari kirtana murti dharam tarani bhar harak gaur janam janakadik vasal singid padam pranamami sadap bhupad padam pranamami sadap bhupad padam pranamami sadap प्रभु पाद पदम वाचा कल्पतरुष्य के पास सिंधु पति तान पावन भवैष्णव्यो नमो नम